for motive on this. I don't question, um, you know, her patriotism or anything else. She's she's, she's dead wrong on, on this one. She voted against the NSA defunding, and we have her answer, and it's going to make your eyes bleed. It's going to make your eyes bleed. And um, we have to decide right now, who are we? Who are we? Don't st- I don't stand with Michelle Bachman on this at all. You will hear her response, and maybe you will. Maybe you will stand with her. Coming up next. <sighs> so do we have time to start with Michelle Bachman? Because... It's going to make my eyes. Uh, not bleed. yet. No, probably uh, at this not? point. I, I would say we wait till the after the bottom of the hour. There, wouldn't you think? I mean, it's a because, couple minutes. Yeah. yeah, her thing. Her statement is about two minutes long. I can. I can make it. I can make it. Go. Go. go start it. Go ahead. I don't think we have time for it here. We, we don't. I mean, we don't have time to fit the time whole time thing. I'm going to go ahead and argue about it the whole time. No. <laughs> no. It's just there's a math problem you have here with the mm-hmm. amount of minutes left. We don't have two minutes to play what she said. Let alone, alone you react to it. You guys, anyway. you guys, you guys don't mm. want to play it. No, I don't. Because no, I don't. I definitely. Stu don't. has said mm-hmm. Glenn's going to flip his. Well, yes, and we love flip. Michelle Bachman. Yeah, she's been very good she's to great. us, and she's and she's, she's right awesome. on ninety nine percent of the stuff. So uh, we do need to keep that in perspective as we listen to her statement. This here. may this be what, this our first disagreement is. with her. Actually, no, no, the first I can think of. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's the only one that comes to mind. But maybe they're. Maybe there've been others. Well, and the other thing is, and uh, Michelle Bachman, when is a, she was running, there was disagreements. We were, yeah, like, oh yeah, we were like, true. "What are you talking about?" Well, there's a few telling. things here and there, but 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 yeah. Michelle, I would say, argues this, and she's a very passionate arguer. She makes a lot of really good points, and she makes them passionately. She makes these points passionately, and I don't like the points, so it's frustrating. Uh, this is not well, she's a. She's wrong. She's not stating her point. We're gonna uh, get pissed, aren't we? Relax. We're gonna in a get relaxed pissed. Manner. No, and we're gonna start yelling things, and we're gonna say. That she needs to be drummed out of office. No, so and this, then, that's what, what you're I afraid of is that we're going to say things that we will later regret. Yes, yes. yes. that's what you're afraid of. Okay, and it's well, a, we've it's got a legitimate plenty fear. of time after the break. So, <laughs> Stu, sorry, no more stalling. <laughs> the audio of Michelle Bachman comes up next. Okay, Stu. Bring it on. I'm ready. Oh, well, I'm just, are you I mentally... I took my jacket off. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Are you mentally go. prepared for now, this Now, see, audio. he's wearing a bow tie today, so I don't think anything can go wrong. Who who has ever committed something heinous in a bow tie? Louis Farrakhan, but let's... Well, <laughs> let's get you, right, you make a great, let's great get, point. Let's get right to it. <laughs> this is Michelle Bachman, and Stu has said you're going to be extraordinarily upset, and she's going to be saying things basically about people like you. Mm-hmm. And she is uh, passionate, passionate about passionate. it. And I here's the thing: I don't question her motivation. No, we know she's like a patriot. Yes, yeah, she is. Her, her, she is coming from a place of sitting in on these security meetings, and she knows a lot that we don't know. And I know that she, and I know that she believes, and she is accurate that there are those that want to kill us in the Muslim community, and I understand that, and she's right. However, that doesn't mean we give up our freedom. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean we give up our freedom. And that's what we're talking about here. Here is, stop your stalling, Stu. Mm-hmm. Here is Michelle Bachman. As we know all too well, national security is a real and present danger and something that we have to take quite seriously. We can't right? deal we agree with, with that. Narrative. So there you go. That's her audio from okay, yesterday. No, that's not, uh, no. A very interesting point no. by Michelle. And look, she makes a look, great one. We still, <laughs> we <laughs> like Michelle. Uh-huh. It's going to be okay. We let's might say it. some things that we regret later. No, well, let's not okay. do that. Let's here, let's here, think here. about play it. And a false narrative has emerged that the federal government is taking in the content of Americans' phone calls. It's not true. It's not yeah, happening. Yes, it a is. False narr- that's the she's promoting a false narrative there because it is true. They are collecting it all. No one is saying, at least we're not, that they're, they're listening, listening to it, it right now. We're saying that they the possibility collecting. exists because what? they are collecting Michelle and Bachman. It. Michelle Bachman. Michelle Bachman. What are they storing in the Utah NSA data storage facility? Maybe what we is, should take her out they, there. What are they? What are they storing in there? Meat. <laughs> there is a meat section. Yeah. Okay. Produce. There's a produce aisle. 
I mean, it's a big building. I hope so. The if there's government me, is that's... taking in the content of the American people's emails. It's not true. Stop. It's not happening. Mich it, Michelle, yes, it is. what are they storing in the data storage facility? <laughs> what are they storing? Okay. Just, you know, I think. Clothing. You know, I mean, clothing. There could be some clothing. There's some sweaters. There's a sweater section. Right. I, you know what? I mean, we do hey, white sales from two time things, to time. Two things, two things, two <laughs> things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two. One, number one. I want you to listen to me. Kids, if you're a teenager or if you're a 20-something, mm -hmm. do not drink and do drugs because you're going to need those blackouts and that booze later in life. <laughs> Why waste it when you can just go mm -hmm. be stupid for some other reason? You're going to need those blackouts later. You're going to need to go home at night when you're about 50 and just drink it all away. You're going to want that time. Are you suggesting you might do that? Is that what you're... No, I've wasted all mine. I have I had him, and now I can't do it anymore. You're just wishing you I'm could black out. become an alcoholic when you're like 60. <laughs> now when you're 20 or 30, that's a waste. There's other things you can do at that point. But when you get to be 50 or 60, and then you really start to listen to people like Michelle Bachman say this kind of nonsense, you're going to want the Jack Daniels. See, I'm but, just saying. Now, you said you were prepared, and you don't seem prepared. I'm totally prepared. I'm you you totally don't seem like you're handling this well. Ahead. All right, let's see if we can get we through more than three seconds. We need to deal in facts, and the facts are real, and the facts are these. Mm -hmm. The only people who have benefited from the revelation of classified information by someone who worked for this government, who intentionally and unauthorized declassified some of the most sensitive national security information that we have. The only result is that those who are engaged in Islamic Jihad will have been benefited. And those that we seek to protect have not. Consider this. There is more information contained in the phone book that sits at home on your kitchen counter about each one of us than the information that is in the national security database that we're talking about today. Now, wait a minute. Now, steady. now wait a minute. I, again, love Michelle Bachman. But do we really believe that there's more information in the phone book no. than there is in the NSA database about us? No. And does she really expect us to believe that? No. I and love that's, her. That's why Glenn has Come just on. written on the board. But during, during the audio portion. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm... I'm totally... Michelle Bachman is not dead to me, mm -hmm. but she is in very ill health. <laughs> no, no, she is not. <laughs> what Ill. speech? I've heard. I've heard she's very ill. No, she's, she's not very ill. Health. She's fine. She's not dead. She's not her. dead to me. She's not dead to me. Yeah. She's, is she in critical condition to you? She is in. She is being... Life support? There's, if there's much more audio here, <laughs> she may be upgraded <laughs> into critical condition. Oh, there's another there's, minute. There's a full minute left. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> it's so far beyond the sniffles. I thought it yeah, was it's... the sniffles at first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's but, gone downhill fast. Yeah, but she's she's stabilized. But let's go in for some more diagnostics. Mm -hmm. This is exploratory right now. Your name. Your address mm -hmm. is in the phone book. Yes. Your name, your address is not in this national security database. No other Hold on just a second. World. Hold on just a second. I've just heard from the doctors. <laughs> she is starting to go downhill yeah. rapidly. Has the advantage that the United States of America has on national security. No other nation. And we, by this amendment today, would agree to handcuff ourselves and our allies by restricting ourselves? Let it not be. Let us not deal in false narratives. Jeez. Let us deal in facts mm. that will keep the American people safe. <laughs> when you look at an envelope, when a letter is put in the mail, is there a privacy right as to what's been written on that envelope? No, there isn't. Where there is a privacy right is what's contained inside that envelope. That's a Fourth Amendment right. Yeah. Is there a Fourth Amendment right to the record that you that you called someone on a certain day? No, there isn't. That's a record. But there is a Fourth mm -hmm. Amendment right to what's in that phone call. Let's deal right. in reality, let's, not let's in false it. narratives. Okay. And I yield back. Oh my lady. Gosh. See, there you go. That's it. So it was all. Oh so that, well, gosh. There you go. So now, Michelle. Well, the now good he's, he's erased the O mm -hmm. and the T.
uh, not. So now it says Michelle B is mm, dead to me, <laughs> but the, she is in very ill health. The good thing is he's misspelled Michelle, so uh, it's we're not. There's only one in her L. case. Yes. In her case, in so her case. I think mm-hmm. she's probably talking about somebody else. That's that's my that's my standing. And now she is in very very <laughs> very ill health. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, I, I, look, the point she – I understand what she's saying there. I mean, I, I get the argument. And, and as you pointed out – It's inflammatory, though, no, because she's – I don't like the she way knows, she does it there. Yeah, yeah. and the, the way she keeps she's talking wrong. about this false narrative that we are pushing, she, by the way. She is – She is. it's totally cool to say we are in serious critical condition, which she happens to be in the <laughs> in, Glenn Beck wing – of really, really, really almost dead to me people. <laughs> um, From one is, speech, she's been on, she's agreed with you and fought impossibly hard battles for you and with you, I should say, not for you, but with you for how I'm many fickle. years? I'm fickle. You are very fickle. Mm-hmm. I'm also tired today. You, you look tired, yeah. and this could be so part of this. Scenario. No, here's the thing. I, I mean, I'm obviously joking. Um, yes. She's not dead to me. But she is in ill health. <laughs> she has to go. This is this has got to stop. I have no problem. I would say on this whole speech, if she would take away the false narrative, yes, and that no one you is could, you could is much storing, easily, much more easily swallow yeah, it. If no one is storing. She can say, "Look, they are storing, and I'm concerned about it." Nobody's reading your stuff, but they are storing. They are keeping record. They're keeping record on every single American. What do you think the Utah Data Storage Center is for, Michelle? Please don't treat me like a moron. What are they storing in there? They're not storing eggs and meat, and they don't have like a little veggie tray in there. They're storing our records, our information. They have more information, and this universal health care is going to make the NSA look like a rookie. They are storing information on every single American. All of our um, movements, all of our emails... And all of our purchases, all being stored. We know that. Now, if you want to make this point, here's how you make the point. Look, I'm on the intelligence community. I'm on, I'm on the committee. I get secret reports. And I'm telling you right now, this country is about to come undone. This country, the American people don't know what a precarious situation we're in. And while I am gravely concerned about the NSA, I happen to think that we are in bigger trouble because it is a more clear and present danger of the people who are coming in here and want to kill us than it is on the NSA. I'll deal with that one later. We can have a completely sane and rational conversation, but please don't deal in your false narrative about false narratives. It's insulting. It is insulting. talking down to us, and it's treating us like morons. Yeah, it's insulting. It is. And if you'd like to get Michelle Bachman on... I, I owe it to her to say that to her face. And I'm sure she I would like explain Michelle it. Bach. I, I think she would explain it in that way to you. I think the way no, you... The, the, she, it's too but, late. Yeah. Well, I She's mean, already I, made a public statement about false narratives, and she knows better than that. And it, it's it's disappointing. Look, Michelle Bachman was at Kufi two nights ago. She sat there. I don't even know if she spoke. She sat there... Mm-hmm. Because she, she believes in it. She, really she is does. a good, yes. decent woman. She didn't even speak. She right. was just there. Right. I mean, I yeah. really like Michelle Bachman, and I think she's right on many things. She is right about Islamic extremism. She is right about what is happening to our country. She's right about the threats that we face. But I, I, I happen to believe that if we start to criminalize everybody and forget about don't don't talk to me about the phone book first of all nobody uses the phone book anymore (laughs) don't talk to me about the phone book i know that they're the the post office is taking pictures of every letter etc etc who uses a letter anymore and that's the thing like you i I get that you might i mean you are sending it through a government service and they might you might expect that that's not you know the the front of your letter i maybe but you have a private relationship with your phone company. You make a call, call through a private organization. That's right. You have a relationship with them, and you don't have an expectation of privacy with them. You know they know who you're calling, but you don't expect everyone to know it. 
And it's 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 ridiculous to say that there's not an expectation of privacy. Of course there is. Of course there is. Big difference with between my a, company. Yeah. She, yeah. A big difference between the private company and the government. Yeah. Right. And here's the thing. The private company, I make a deal with a private company. I'm going to use your service. You'll have my information. I understand that. Mm-hmm. If you think if the government thinks I'm a criminal, then get a freaking warrant. Get a warrant. I have a right mm-hmm. to my papers and my stuff. Yeah. I have a right to that. Can, if you want to look into my life, yeah. get a warrant. And get a warrant in a regular court, not one that's buried underneath in a star chamber in the Capitol building. I've never believed in star chambers. We have, according to the Washington Post, we have a secret court now underneath the Capitol in that visitor's complex. Well, isn't that where the ruse. FISA court is? Yes. Isn't that what a, they were saying? Yes. It's yeah. a giant ruse. That that whole visitor center, that was a giant ruse. Why did that thing cost three quarters of a billion dollars? I don't know. I'd like to know what's underneath that center. But that's where the FISA court is. And according to the Washington Post, they're saying they're making Supreme Court-style decisions that nobody even knows about. That's not our system. That's not our system. I don't recognize that system. That's a star chamber system. I, and I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. I'm not for it. But at least that's a system. I mean, right now, what we're currently doing is getting everyone's information. Not even people. There's not even a whim of the president who says, you know what? I think those four people might be guilty. It's just everyone, whether we think they're guilty or not. And then, as they pointed out in the testimony, we... We can't find the needle in the haystack if we don't have the haystack first. They want the entire haystack, all the information, and then they'll piece together their co- their case later. That's not the way the system is supposed no, to work. That's absurd. Not, there's no free. There's no freedom there, and it's not a false narrative, Michelle Bachman. And shame on you for saying that. Shame on you. You know better than that. And I like you, and I have respect for you. But shame on you. Um, I'm sure there's things that you know we disagree with. There's more that we agree on. But let's deal in facts, as you insist. Sponsor is Carbonite. Carbonite will protect everything on your computer from, well, not from the NSA. Nobody can do that. But they will protect it from loss. Until the NSA just says, oh, well, we've backed up everything, every keystroke and everything else. We'll just, we'll just upload it for you. We'll just return it to you. 